we're going to take a look at some medical oddities from around the web. This doctor is having a hard time removing the pins from this female patient's hand. I guess they should have gone to Taiwan for the surgery, because the previous doctor didn't have a hard time at all. In the realm of oddly satisfying, here's a man being shaven the old-fashioned way. Have you ever had a shave like this? I kind of want to try it sometime. I feel like it would be very precise and very clean. This Israeli doctor shows the fork that he removed from somebody's stomach. Apparently the patient was trying to remove a bug from her tummy. Here you see a 39-year-old Hispanic construction worker with six nails in his skull. Five were removed in surgery and one after the fact. Apparently, he didn't know how to use his nail gun correctly, so be careful when using construction equipment. If you're interested in extra ocular muscles, or the muscles that move your eyes, this is a pretty cool, interesting dissection of a human eye. You can see the muscles, and how these four muscles basically can move your eyes up, down, left, and right. And meanwhile, this medical professional demonstrates four different types of stitches. Interesting to see the different types and how they may or may not leave a scar. I feel like the type in the center is least likely to leave a scar in this individual. Not too bad, right? No, that's, that's, that's excellent. You guys are all fine, huh? I think I'm numb. But it could be because I overdid my hand. The inside of the bone is not usually that painful. It's when we do stuff on the outside of the bone. Let's see. Good. Where'd you have surgery? Was it here? No, Taiwan. Oh my gosh, okay. I was going to say, it's like, I don't remember. Usually I would see you after surgery for that, so I was kind of surprised. And this individual has an infected pimple on her face. Go ahead and comment below. Do you pop pimples like this, with an extractor tool, or with your fingers? And what do you think is the best method of popping? I personally recommend a comedone extractor kit like this, one that has several different types of heads. This one has seven tools, 14 total heads, strong steel design, and it's particularly made where it's not going to leave scars. There's a lancet in with the kit, as well as a 10-pack of nitrile gloves, which are good if you have any kind of latex allergies, and they help keep your skin clean. I'll put a link in the description below. And now a word about Restmore. Hi, uh, I've been using Restmore for a few weeks. Um, it helps me relax a lot. I really like it. I sleep soundly through the whole night and I recommend it to everyone. So try the product Restmore. <laughs> Restmore is an essential addition to your medicine cabinet for those times you need to fall asleep but can't. Remember, when you just need more rest, get Restmore. Now available on Amazon. Good night. <laughs>